We are pleased to have you here. We have widows from 179 communities of Anambra State represented in this arena. We also have representations from over 200 institutions some universities, polytechnics, colleges of education, secondary schools and primary schools who are represented in this occasion. There are presidents, general, there are town union executives, big work for Rifite is here, and indeed the entire Rifite community. We have Nigerians from all walks of life. We use this opportunity to welcome you to this triple barrel occasion. It is triple barrel because today, Siof Sir Emekofo Foundation is hacking to the clarion call to intervene in social investment. You recall that on the 30th of November, we flagged up this exercise with the Vice President in attendance. 2,000 bags of rice were shared on that day. And moving forward, the founder, the foundation, the board and management approved 40,000 bags to go around the 179 communities. I want to specially recognize my boss, who is here, who I admitted in the protocol, former Inspector General of Police, Dr. Solomon Arase. Dr. Arase is here, please welcome him. Forgive me, my boss. To universities, secondary schools, polytechnics, and colleges of education. Why books, you may ask? We believe that you are what you read. Ignorance will obviously stem from not reading. In partnership with Books for Africa in America, Semekofo Foundation has distributed books to all Nigeria universities, higher institutions, secondary schools, and 18 other African countries. This is on record. In furtherance of that mandate, we are going to give out books to help our students acquire knowledge, get into the knowledge bank, and be what they have read. Again, humanitarian with a swag. He has mentored quite a lot of people. Semekofo Foundation started September 11, 1993. That's over 30 years. A man who has taken it upon himself to look at the indigent, look at the vulnerable, put smiles on the faces of people for 30 years and beyond is a man we celebrate today. Some three months back, 10 beautifully built houses were given out to widows in Orifite community in the Tea of Touch a Life project. As we speak, 10 new houses are going on. It can only take a man with a large heart to be able to engage and play in the humanitarian space. As you celebrate today, we wish you God's choicest blessings to the rest of all of us to give is humanity. Even the Bible said, the more you give, the more you receive. To our students who we regard as the future of tomorrow, please, the future of tomorrow indeed. And to the sea of things, who has put this together? May God bless you. Having said this, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you very much. Find one place, okay? Yes.
We are under sponsored by Sir Dr. Emeka for under the Peace Fellowship Scholarship. Uh, but it's on record that there is just one only peace center in Africa, and that is the Makerere University in Uganda. And the seed money for that peace center was sold by Sir Dr. Emeka If you really want to clap, make it sound. Thank you. So, on stage with me now are Peace Fellows, recipients of the South Dr. Mekofor Scholarship. They came from all over the world to be here with him on his 65th birthday. I have at the extreme, he's actually one of us, he's a Nigerian and he lives in Ibadan, he's finished his uh, program, um, Sami Aji, yes, Sami, you're welcome. And I have here, Hope. Hope, I always struggle with your surname, is Chichaya. Hope is a Zimbabwean. He is from Zimbabwe, but came in from South Sudan. On the left is Wale. Wale is a Nigerian, but he's practicing his fellowship in the UK, precisely in London. Wale, you're welcome. The pretty lady there is from Kenya, Jen Wanjiru. Jen, Karibu, Kenya, you are welcome to Nigeria. And the last but not the least is George Ngwame. George came in from Cameroon. He's from Cameroon. You are welcome to Oripite. So I'm going to let um, so grateful to CEO to fellowship, and we extend our gratitude to accept, to acknowledge, and appreciate the gift not only of life but of service to humanity. We stand here in solidarity with the message and hope that Sir Dr. Emeka is promoting. And on this 65th birthday, we say happy birthday day, happy birthday day, happy birthday day, happy birthday day. And thank you all. And as we were looking at the events of today, one of the most striking things to us was seeing these young children march past. And I want to tell you, some of these children this week might not remember everything they have learned in school. But I can assure you one thing, they will remember some of the inspiration they have drawn from you and Sir Emeka offer activities here today. Let us continue to create hope and make life better by putting life smiles on the faces of people. Thank you so much, and we are so happy to be here to celebrate with our mentor. Get Saimeka and say, may God give you good health, happy life, 
and success in everything that you do. May God bless you. Thank you. Transmitted to become the acting vice chancellor of Chukwuemeka of the University, father of the founder of the Mekofu Foundation. The book, the book to them. It was donated by this Foundation to add knowledge to dispel darkness and to form character and sound morals, bring progress to the nation, blessing to the families and homes. We dedicate these books in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Somebody should be there to Put your hands together, please! This university is represented by Rasim Bayes and Sam. For respecting this vote, I have not judged. The people must be going through the circle. Because the instrument for money, anything to encourage money, is the object. So, we can't give the mercy, we can't the foundation. Interest is showing the reason of our younger ones. Now that people spend more time watching it instead of reading, please go back to the old fashioned way of doing things. We can't give the mercy, we should have it right there. Uh, thank you very much. Put your hands together for Christian Jones. Yes, and the representative of the governor of Taraba State is Chief of Staff. And our heart, remember that the Bible says that our people will suffer in ignorance because of lack of knowledge. This is, these books are here for us as tools to access knowledge. May God bless the maker for long life for him, long life for his family, long life for his community, and long life for all the students that are benefiting from this book. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. To celebrate we have come to celebrate celebrate a man and celebrate an idea 
That is the purpose why we are gathered here today. In the first instance, is to celebrate the man. The man, Sir Dr. Emeka Ofo, and his amiable wife, Lady Adora Ofo. Because what, to her, what God has joined together, no man should put um, asunder. On behalf of myself, my family, the government, and great people of Anambra State, to say a million happy birthdays to you. Happy birthday, Sai. Happy birthday. We've come to celebrate 65 years of what you call life of impact. We don't just live, we live to matter. And Sai has demonstrated this very essence of life. Because here on earth, we must do the work of God is a man who has lived 65 years of impact. It's not how long you've lived, it's how well. And very importantly, how well is not how much of champagne and how much, how many cars or how many houses and so on and so forth. Because in the end, how many beds are you going to sleep on? How many cars are you going to drive at any point in time? How many houses are you going to stay in at any point in time? All these are vanities. It is when I tell people, when you want to evaluate what is important in life, read the profile that is often written when someone dies. No one is celebrated for the amount of money in the bank account. No one is celebrated for the number of buildings and billions and trillions and whatever. We we'll celebrate them for their impact on people's lives. And today, Sa'i, our brother and friend, could afford to be in any part of the world, maybe even the Mars, to go and have his birthday in the Mars, with champagne and all the exotic drinks and whatever that many of us won't even be able to get to. But he's chose to spend this day, today, a special birthday in Anambra State. First of all, to signal that Anambra is the place to be. That's number one. But very importantly, and in terms of purpose, to spend this day with all these widows. As I looked around there, the other side, I can see thousands of widows out there with the school children with the people in the universities and the vulnerable. Sa'i, so, that's why we have come to celebrate. It's not just that you've turned 65, which, by the way, I wish you've turned 65. My wish for you is that you are going to live a minimum of another, another 55, minimum, minimum. To make it a minimum of 120. Because people talk about 80 and 90 in the psalm. But the one I believe is the one that is written in Genesis chapter 6 verse 3. That one it says, ah, my Lord is here. <laughs> Man forever. In his day it shall be 120 years. Okay, there's a laughter that. There's a psalm. And our prayer for you collectively in their number and all of us gathered here today is that that 120 years at the minimum because with the with technology today you can now even get even higher. The queen in 150 years. So but a minimum of 55 more to go. Happy birthday, sir. E. That's the first one. Nigerians, fellow Nigerians, Nigeria is going through huge challenges at the moment. Food inflation is rising. There are challenges everywhere. The entire resources available to government of Nigeria is less than 10% of the total GDP or income of Nigeria. In Anambra State, it is even less than 1% of our income. And therefore, 
the issue of getting the society to move, building an inclusive society, a progressive society, must be one that will involve collective action by everybody. The individuals here in Anambra, our own strategy for transforming Anambra in the short term is what we call PPCP, Public-Private Community Partnership. Public-Private Community Partnership. And it's not just about building basic infrastructure or roads, um, I mean roads, health, education, individuals investing in them, but also, especially at this critical point in time, that an individual will set out to donate 40,000 bags of rice to all the communities in our number. It is unprecedented, and Sir E, I want on behalf of the people of Anambra to commend you and to thank you deeply on behalf of the people. And we invite all other well-meaning citizens of Anambra, this is the time to share. This is the time to celebrate our common humanity. Whatever you can do, even if you can buy for the entire 179 communities, buy for your own omunna. If you can buy for your own omunna, buy for your immediate extended family. Buy for your immediate and celebrate with among the people. Just buy something, give something to somebody today. That is what we have come here to celebrate today. And Sir E, we want to say a million congratulations to you today for living out this life of impact. We will be able to make suggestions to, to the Chief of Staff and to the Foundation about the specific books that we need in Anambra schools. And so that there will be books that the schools, I mean the children are going to read and pass their exams in Anambra. That's one thing we will contribute to this. But all in all, government government will do its own yes on roads we're already doing about four over four, 450 kilometers of roads across the entire 21 local governments and by our second anniversary which will be next month we would have completed, first of all, a quality that Anambra has never seen before, in the first instance. And second, in terms of the length of road to be completed on our second anniversary, at least more than three times that was completed in the previous eight years, and unprecedented in the history. We are doing the bit that we can, but as we are even doing with our zero potholes and going around the, around the state, yes, we are doing our own bit. On health, on education, I don't need to uh, repeat what the compare has been saying, but on health, and this is very interesting, with the free antenatal free delivery, <laughs> the, the number of people now that give birth every month in Anambra has more than actually has gone up by more than from about um, 200 and something in public hospitals in the first month when we started this over a thousand six hundred in the last month uh, in, the, in December and so on more than six seven times over but guess what only 48 percent of them but the Anambra the other 52 percent for the rest of Nigeria coming to deliver and successfully and there has been zero mortality rate in all those delivery in our public uh, health system we are working very hard on this but government has extremely limited resources. We are doing what we have done in 24 months. Next month will be 24 months. Still without borrowing a penny. The House of Assembly approved for us to borrow 100 billion when I assumed office. But still today, we have refused to borrow. Why? First and foremost, two criteria. We can't borrow except we get it at the most concessionary rate, number one. Number two, is that we only borrow for projects that have prospects of paying back. We're not going to imperil the future with phantom loans. 
And that's why I have over two years refused to borrow up to this moment until we have those projects that we put it and we will tell you how those projects will pay back the loan. That's what we are doing. But we are calling on the larger society to join us. When I leave from here now, I'm going to Adaziane. Adaziane, where I'm going to be commissioning about 15 kilometers of road. Third with drainage, you know, end to end. Third by an individual, Onyanambra. I think he has set out a target that he's going to beat the, the, um, the record set by Tony Mars of blessed memory, who did 18 kilometers in Neni before he died. Now, many communities all through the Christmas period, I was going from one community to the other. And now we are compiling lists of people, the Anambra champions, who are championing development in their various communities in terms of roads, the kilometers. We are going to publish all of them. The kilometers done, the schools done, the hospitals done, and health centers and so on and so forth. I will be writing publicly to acknowledge all of them because in the next few months, we will be commissioning, I will get up to a total of at least 100 kilometers done by private individuals. That is the Anambra spirit. That's what we have come here to celebrate today. And that is what Sa'i is leading. Living for others. Living for others. It's not when he dies, we now come and write in communes. Now that he is alive, let us celebrate him. Because he is shown by example that an individual can also feed a state. That's what we've come here to celebrate today. That an individual can do what? Can feed a state. Thank you very much, Sir E. May God continue to enrich your pockets. It will never go dry. Millions and billions and trillions will continue to flow. And you continue to give and give and give and give and give and give. We will be here next year. We will be here in two years time. In five years time. In ten years time. The one or five years we are going to have it for you at Oka. And that day, let's mark it. To God be the glory. Thank you very much and God bless you. Let's move a little so that they won't crowd the place, please. <laughs> He's the Rotarian of great repute.